Hi, this is Ruben Lerner. If you've come to Python from another programming language, then you've probably been quite surprised by the simple syntax we can use to define classes, define methods, work with instances, and even create such things as class attributes. But do you really understand what's going on behind the scenes? Do you really understand how Python is implementing this? What the difference is between an attribute on an instance and an attribute in a class? How inheritance works in Python? Um, why self has to be the first parameter in every method? And how you can define objects that are truly Pythonic? I've been working with Python for more than 20 years, and I've been teaching it at all sorts of companies around the world for close to that long. And over time, I've learned how to explain object-oriented programming, both to people who are new to Python but no objects, and for people who are new to Python and new to object-oriented programming. This course, Object-Oriented Python, is my version of that course for you on the internet. So you can watch it from wherever you want, your office, your home, uh, wherever is convenient for you. The course is divided into many short video lessons and also includes a very, very large number of exercises. These are exercises that I've done with my classes all around the world for many years. They've been refined over time to make sure that they really ensure that you understand what's going on and get the most out of the course. Um, indeed, if there's anything I'm going to ask you to do in this course, it's please don't skip the exercises. That's where the core of the learning takes place. You will get frustrated, but it's good frustration. It's learning frustration. And from the mistakes that you make and from going over the exercises with me in my video lessons, you will learn a great deal. This course assumes you know very little about object-oriented programming Python and quickly moves up to talk about relatively sophisticated things such as how inheritance actually works and how attribute lookup works in Python, which is crucial for understanding how objects work. If you've less than eight months of experience working with Python day to day, if you've ever been curious about how object-oriented programming works in Python or in general, this course I'm sure will help you to understand all these topics. It's a lot of hands-on activity, it's a lot of explanations, it's a lot of live coding, and from my experience, it will really, really help you to learn and to become a more fluent Python developer, which will make you more valuable both where you're working now and at whatever job you'll want to get in the future. Um, the course, as with all my courses, comes with a money-back guarantee. It comes with access to my office hours, which are about once or twice every month. I invite you to join this course to level up your Python programming and to really finally learn how objects work in Python so that you can take advantage of them.